हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जॉब्स एंड एजुकेशन डू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियोस सो दिस इज़ ये महेश डोले एथ वीडियो इन द वर्कशॉप टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर ई सेट एग्जाम सो दिस वीडियो कवर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दिस इज़ द सिलेबस ऑफ वर्कशॉप टेक्नोलॉजी इन द फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर ऑफ डिप्लोमा एंड मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज़ द फोर्थ चैप्टर चेकिंग एंड मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर कवरिंग different measuring instruments what is metrology metrology is the science of measurement so this is very important so without this uh, science of measurement we cannot do anything so we may have so many instruments we may have so many machines equipments and all those things if we don't know how to measure them if we don't have any option to measure them so then it is waste of everything so that's why metrology plays a vital role in every field so that's why metrology is very important from this topic we are going to get so many questions so this is a science of measurement let's start with the first question what is the least count of a micrometer what is the least count of a micrometer we can see the micrometer in the figure the options are 0.01 mm 0.02 mm 0.1 mm 0.2 mm so out of these options what is the correct answer for this the least count of this micrometer is calculated by pitch of the micrometer by total number of circular scale divisions so it is equals to 1 by 100 that is equals to we can write it as 0.01 mm or 0.001 cm hence with this we can say the answer is a that is 0.01 mm second question reads bevel protractor is used for what this question was asked in 2020 is at exam so bevel protractor we can see in this figure it is used for maybe angular measurements or linear measurements or for height measurements or for flatness measurements so bevel protractor is used for angular measurements a is the correct answer third question reads surface plate used to measure so this surface plate we can see in this figure this is used to measure flatness or roundness or straightness or squareness the surface plate is used to measure flatness a is the correct answer fourth question reads which of the following is not associated with the angle measurements this question was asked in 2013 is at exam so which of the following is not associated with the angle measurements maybe sine bar a bevel protractor angle plate and combination square out of these bevel protractor is not able to find this angles so b is the correct answer fifth question v block is used to what is the necessary of this v block it is used to hold cylindrical pieces or test the flatness or hold triangular pieces or measure the roundness so v block is used to hold the cylindrical pieces sixth question reads which was asked in 2015 is at exam which of the following can be used to measure the dimensions directly so maybe micrometer a snap gauge a pneumatic comparator a go gauge so which is going to measure the dimensions directly so that is micrometer micrometer measures the dimensions directly seventh question interferometer or interferometry is used to measure what is the need of this interferometry so maybe to find out or to measure the flatness or to measure the straightness or to measure the roundness or to measure the angularity so interferometry is used to measure flatness a is the correct answer so question of the day guys be excited for this question what is the least count of vernier calipers very basic question try to answer this question in the comment section what is the least count of vernier calipers just give me the value with dimensions in the comment section if you are smart if you are clever if you know the basic knowledge try to answer this question in the comment section what is the least count of vernier calipers so moving on to the eighth question universal surface gauge is used for universal surface gauge is used for that we can see in this figure univer universal surface gauge maybe it is used to lay out work and inspection or to check the parallelism or to check the flatness or to check the straightness so universal surface gauge is used for lay out work and inspection a is the correct answer 
नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ए कॉलीमेटर इज ए कॉलीमेटर इज ए वाट सो वाट इज कॉलीमेटर इट इज़ अ सोर्स ऑफ पॉइंट लाइट और इट इज स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ पॉइंट लाइट और इट इज़ अ सोर्स ऑफ बंडल ऑफ पैरल लाइट वेज आर यूज इन इंटरफेरोमेट्रिक मेजरमेंट्स वी कैन सी इन दिस फिगर वॉट इट इज इट इज अ सोर्स ऑफ बंडल ऑफ पैरल लाइट रेस अ कॉलीमेटर वी कैन सी दिस फिगर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सोर्स ऑफ अ बंडल ऑफ पैरल लाइट रेस सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग आट द टेंथ क्वेश्चन वाई इज द कैलिपर प्रिंसिपल यूज वाई इज द कैलिपर प्रिंसिपल यूज मे बी फॉर सर्कुलर डिविजन्स or for measuring dimensions with vernier caliper or for measuring dimensions with micrometer or for checking flatness so the caliper principle is used for circular divisions a is the correct answer 11th question cylindrical bores measured by cylindrical bores are measured by maybe plug gauge a master gauge or angle plate a snap gauge so the correct answer for this cylindrical bores measurement is plug gauge a is the correct answer ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन वेर्निया कैलिपर्स यूज टू मेजर सो वाट इज द यूज ऑफ वेर्निया कैलिपर्स इट मे बी टू मेजर द इंटरनल डायमीटर आर एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर आर थिकनेस एंड डेप्थ ऑफ नारो ट्यूब्स आर आल ऑफ द एबो ये द करेक्ट आंसर इज आल ऑफ द एबो वेर्निया कैलिपर्स इज यूज टू मेजर इंटरनल डायमीटर एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर वी कैन से थिकनेस एंड डेप्थ ऑफ नारो ट्यूब्स आलसो हेन्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी दट इज आल ऑफ द एबो थर्टींथ क्वेश्चन विच आफ दि फॉलोइंग इज नाट अ डायरेक्ट मेजरिंग डिवाइस विच इज नाट ए डायरेक्ट मेजरिंग डिवाइस हाउस ऑफ आउट ऑफ माइक्रोमीटर डिवाइडर वेनिया कैलिपर एंड ऑल ऑफ दि बो द करेक्ट आंसर इज डिवाइडर डिवाइडर इज नाट अ डायरेक्ट मेजरिंग डिवाइस वी नो दट फोर्टींथ क्वेश्चन विच प्रिंसिपल इज रिलेटेड टू गेज डिजाइन सो टू डिजाइन द गेज वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल रैंक एंड प्रिंसिपल पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल Taylor's principle or Carnot principle. So the answer is Taylor's principle. C is the correct answer to design the gauge. Fifteenth question: Gear tooth vernier is used to. Gear tooth vernier is used to. It may be pitch line thickness of gear tooth or gear tooth thickness or to module or gear tooth profile. So gear tooth vernier is used to measure what? It is to measure the pitch line thickness of gear tooth. A is the correct answer. Sixteenth question: What is the angle between the two surfaces of an angle plate? What is the angle between the two surfaces of an angle plate? Maybe ninety degrees, a forty-five degrees, a sixty degrees, or thirty degrees. The answer is ninety degrees is the angle between two angles, uh, two surfaces in an angle plate. Seventeenth question: Sine bar, as seen in the figure, this is used to measure what? Sine bar is used to measure maybe external tapers or internal tapers or gear profiles or surface roughness. So the correct answer is external tapers. So sine bar is used to measure external tapers. Eighteenth question: Angle plate slot is used for what? Angle plate slot is used for maybe weight reducing or work aligning or bolts accommodating or none of the above. So angle plate slot is used for bolts accommodation. That is C. Nineteenth question: The sliding jaws of vernier calipers can be used to measure. The sliding jaws of vernier calipers can be used to measure. So maybe to measure the diameter of spear, ah, uh, the the depth of a beaker, ah, uh, the internal diameter of hollow cylinder, ah, uh, the length of a wire. So the correct answer is the diameter of a spear. A is the correct answer. Twenty-eighth question: Tri square is used to check upon angle of. So tri square is used to check what angle. So that may be forty-five degrees, a sixty degrees, ninety degrees, a thirty degrees. So the correct answer is ninety degrees. Tri square is used to check the ninety degrees angle. So this is the end of the video, guys. Try to share this video to your friends who are preparing for ESET, as well as all basic mechanical engineering competitive exams. So thank you for watching this video this is a Mahesh Dole follow my channel subscribe my channel like my channel share my videos and comment and signing up this is a Mahesh Dole